Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at optimizing characters for animation uh, using Character Creator 3, a couple of techniques there to reduce the amount of uh, resources each of your characters is using on the screen. This is particularly useful to uh, take a look at when you have uh, scenes with lots of t lots of characters, like a Lord of the Rings war scene with tons of soldiers on the screen and stuff like that. And you really want to reduce the, the resources each one of them is taking up in order to uh, increase performance uh, of your animation, okay, and get the uh, solid 60 frames per second. All right, so uh, just for your reference here, we are using characters from this uh, content pack, Game Character Outfits, uh, from our developer Surge 3D. I'll put a link in the description for this pack so you can check it out uh, on your own time. But let's take a look at a project here that's kind of going to demonstrate the issues that we might come across uh, when we have too many characters on the screen or the characters are too high resource. So you can take a look. We have uh, five Roman uh, soldier characters on the screen. Um, the project triangles is at 323,000. Okay. Um, you know, fairly high am amount here. And if we select, you know, one of the characters, uh, 65,000 uh, polys for each care or triangles for each character here, um, you know, fairly high. And there's only five characters on the screen here. And if I play back, take a look at what happens to our frames per second. Uh, it goes down to about 40. So it's struggling to maintain, even with only five characters on the screen, it's struggling to maintain even 40 frames per second here. And we're using 5.6 gigabytes of our 8.1 gigabytes uh, card here um, just for these five characters on the screen who are animated. So the thing that we want to do here is we want to reduce the resources these characters are using on the screen. And I'm going to explain to you a couple of ways that you can do that. So let's go ahead and load up the same character here in Character Creator 3. Again, you can see the same project triangle. And the first thing we're going to do is convert, use the convert to game base option here. Okay. So this is the uh, number one way to kind of reduce the poly count and the resources used by your character. A quick and easy way to do it. So if we take a look at our character's uh, face, for example, let's just go to our uh, character and select uh, wireframe on shaded here. You can see the face, you know, fairly high poly. Um, fairly dense uh, poly count here and you can see the eyes especially and if we uh, open up our character's mouth you can see uh, particularly the teeth we don't need details like this on a character especially if they're just gonna be in the, in the background as an extra you know fighting or something like that um, you know not too much detail on the arms but it is fairly detailed and uh, converting to game base will further uh, reduce this as well okay so what I'm going to do here is uh, without further ado we'll just go overhead and select convert to game base and this is the first step that we're going to take. We're going to uh, merge all the UVs into a single material. Okay, this is going to be helpful for reducing that uh, resource, um, taking up resources as well. I'm just going to leave the max texture size at uh, 2048 and just go ahead and select convert. All right, once that conversion is finished, you can see the project triangles is all the way down to 48,935. And if we uh, go back to wireframe on shaded mode, you can see the uh, the face there, the mesh is quite a bit simpler uh, and the arms especially, um, you know, a lot less detail on those. So again, this character is in the background. Nobody's really gonna notice that in general. So you don't need to worry about it. Okay, let's look at further reducing the eyes and the teeth here. Okay, so again, the teeth uh, taking up a lot of uh, resources there unnecessarily. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is replace the eyes though. Okay, so we need to go to the content manager here. I'm going to go to the uh, base section and in the base section, we will find the eyeballs and under eyes in the main folder, you'll find a game eyes one UV. Okay, so this is the simplest uh, eye that you can apply to your character. And you can see boom right there. Let's just uh, go and select our character's eyes and uh, wireframe unshaded. And you can see now the, uh, the count there is a lot simpler. We've taken it down by a little bit more in the project triangles there. So let's do the same thing for the teeth. Again, I'm just going to open up the character's mouth there so we can see it. And we'll go to the teeth section here and just replace those teeth. Again, in the main folder, you will find a game teeth, one UV. Let's go ahead and replace those. They're going to look a bit uglier, but again, um, <laughs> from like uh, 50 meters away, no one's going to uh, take a look at his teeth. Okay, so again, this is just saving a lot of resources there. And you can see now we're down at uh, 43,000, uh, whereas we were at uh, 46 or 48,000 uh, before. Okay, I'm just going to change everything back to uh, normal shading mode here. And now let's take a look at the character's clothing by reducing the poly count of our character's clothing. And this is going to be a big one because if I take, if I select all the uh, clothing items on my character here, you can see if I just select them all like this, um, select this one too, and I go into uh, wireframe unshaded, you can see, wow, it's a fairly dense mesh and we can easily reduce this uh, quite significantly. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into my Insta LOD tool and again be aware that you need to have the pipeline version of Character Creator 3 to do this. And we're going to go to Polygon Reduction to Wearables. Okay. 
And uh, there's a few options here for optimization. You can choose the recommended settings. Um, I generally try and do by percentage because I find that works you know, fairly well. You can also uh, specify a specific face count. Okay, you can see we've selected uh, 31,000 faces here at Triangles here. We can reduce that to a specific uh, number that we want. And uh, I'm just gonna use a 50% uh, reduction here and uh, bake the texture. We're just gonna bake it back at the uh, 2048 there, the regular one we had before. And we'll just go ahead and apply this. Okay, so once that's all exported, you can see now the project triangle is significantly less. So we've reduced it by a lot already. We can even take another step here. We'll do a one, uh, one more thing. We're gonna reduce uh, by element, okay? So for that, I'm gonna select my character's helmet here called the uh, Galea plane. And you can see here as well that um, there's gonna be two meshes in each individual uh, uh, section or part of your character's uh, clothing here. You're gonna have the uh, the L, which is uh, the regular, or this one here, which is the regular mesh. And then you're also gonna have a mesh that has a suffix of percentage 50 on it, which indicates this is the mesh that is has been reduced by 50%, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this uh, helmet right here, and we're gonna go up to Insta LOD and Project Reduction Element, okay? Now for this one, if we uh, reduce it even further, we can choose different elements, okay? So I'm gonna uh, choose selected elements by percentage, again, 50%. I'm just gonna hold uh, shift and select a couple areas here, like uh, these uh, maybe sideburn kind of things, <laughs> ear, ear protectors, whatever you wanna call them, uh, this one as well. Okay, so we'll do this all separately. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, uh, select elements by percentage, and we'll go ahead and apply this. It's gonna reduce our project triangles by a little bit more as well. Okay, so you can see the slightly reduced uh, um, poly count on each of those individual elements on the character's uh, helmet there. And we're also going to find in our scene manager here, we're going to have uh, one item that's called percentage 50, percentage 50. That means it's been reduced twice by a percentage of 50. All right, so let's go ahead and first take a look at the, uh, the whole uh, character wearable stuff in a different uh, uh, mode here, shading mode. Let's go to wireframe on shaded so we can see the reduction. Okay, you know, fairly significant reduction uh, on our character's mesh. And of course we can reduce it even further, uh, really depending on the amount of resources that we want to save here. Uh, but what I need to do here is then go into, uh, uh, expand all of these, and I need to delete all of the original meshes, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of them. And for the helmet, I want to delete the both these two, okay? So the percentage 50, because we're gonna keep the double reduction uh, one for the helmet there, okay? Just make sure you select all the items here that do not have the percentage 50 on them. Okay, down here, ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, tunic. Again, make sure you don't delete um, the percentage 50. I'm gonna just control selecting everything here. Just make sure we have everything taken care of. I believe that's it. And go ahead and press delete. And there you go. Okay, so 28,000, around 28,000 uh, uh, projects or project triangles on our character here. Let's close down the polygon reduction and let's just take everything back to a uh, regular shaded mode here. Uh, there we go. And back to normal. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our iClone project really quickly here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this front character. Okay, so the soldier, uh, this near soldier right here. And again, pay attention to the uh, selected triangle, 64,000. We're going to replace him with our current character and that's going to reduce the amount of uh, polygon counts. Uh, on that character in the iClone project. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do first is go up to File and uh, Export and iAvatar. You can also go up here on your toolbar to, uh, where is it here, um, uh, Export to iAvatar, this button here. And uh, I'm not going to use the Insta LOD remesh right now. I'll just go to Export like this. And I've already exported it as game base. Okay, so this is the file that we're going to be uh, importing into our iClone project now. Um, so to do that, what I can do is I can simply make sure I have my uh, soldier selected there and go to send character directly to iClone. So what's going to happen now is it's going to replace that character on the front and it's going to replace him with our new character. Okay, so now you can see selected triangle at 27,000 as opposed to the 64,000 we had before. And Roman soldier B has now been uh, replaced in there, okay? And if we play back now, you can see we're maintaining a little bit, a bit higher of a frames per second, uh, about 51 here, uh, between 45 and 51. And again, the, the video memory has been slightly reduced, and that's only using the uh, the game base character. Now, what we can do to make it even further uh, reduced is use the remesher tool as part of the uh, export uh, process for the iAvatar. Okay, so let's go back into Character Creator 3 here, and we're going to go to the uh, export iAvatar here. And this time I'm going to use Insta LOD Remesher. 
Now I'm going to choose a couple of settings here. Uh, the first one we're going to choose a uh, normal fuzzy target. Okay, you can determine the amount that you want to reduce the uh, the mesh by. I'm just going to choose normal for this one here and mesh detail normal as well for this one. And we're going to change the big texture size to 1024. So it's going to reduce the texture size, um, you know, slightly. And I just go ahead and export. Now I've already done this. I've already done this for normal level and I've already done this for the lowest level. Okay. So let's take a look first at this video here that kind of shows the comparison between all the different levels of, of remeshing. You can see here a very, very vast difference between the, uh, the file size and the uh, polygon reduction on the characters. Uh, you know, the appearance obviously slightly different, but again, all I'm going to do is replace those characters in my iClone project with these remesh uh, characters. And that's going to basically reduce our uh, file, our, our video memory here that we need to use for our project. So let's go to our uh, our uh, project here into the or rather into the explore folder here, and you can see I have the different files right here and the different levels of reduction in the mesh. So there's the remesher using normal and remesher using lowest. Okay, down to six megabytes. Okay, so pretty crazy, six point eight megabytes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, basically load these characters into our iClone project. Um, what I want to do is uh, the, I'm going to use the front guy for the game base, okay, since he's, you know, reduced the least amount. And I'm going to change my remesh uh, uh, normal. I'm going to apply that to these two guys here, okay. So you can see, you know, very, very slight difference. Uh, not even noticeable from that distance, okay. So we can replace this guy as well. And they're all going to be down to like, you know, 11,000 uh, count uh, triangles here. And the guys in the far back there, we can take them down to the lowest level, okay. So just replace these guys like that, lowest. And you can see you'll notice a little bit of a difference, but again, with a lot of characters on the screen, you're not going to really be uh, paying attention to those dudes in the back. They're just kind of movie extras that are just there for a, <laughs> a little bit. Um, okay, so there we have the characters. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and um, apply a couple of animations to these characters now. Okay, we'll just uh, try some different ones here. Um, let's try this. Uh, the guys in the back, let's have them use this kind of uh, different attack animation right here. Okay, just like that. And uh, do the same thing for the other dude. Uh, these guys can use this one. Okay, and uh, these guys in the front can use uh, this attack motion, okay? And uh, we'll have the uh, front guy um, doing the same attack motion as well. Okay, so now if we play back, what's gonna happen? You can see we're at steady 60 frames per second, okay? Really cool. And uh, we can even, you know, multiply these guys by quite a few times. Let's go to our preview camera here. Let's change to a preview camera. And I'm just going to rotate my camera slightly upwards so we can get a better, more uh, holistic view here. And I'm going to hold control and select these two characters. Uh, whoops, control, there we go. And press the W hotkey for movement. And I'm just going to hold control. And if I hold control and click and drag in any direction, it's just going to multiply those characters, okay? Um, by the amount that uh, whatever amount I choose. Okay, so I can take uh, these two characters and do the same thing again Control uh, click and drag Just like this and uh, Now we have you know, we originally had five and now we have uh, nine characters Let's take these two guys and uh, copy them one more time paste them in the back right here Okay, and then let's go to our uh, camera view here and we can maybe zoom out a little bit since our front dude is gonna be kind of a uh, in the wrong position here. Okay, so now it looks like we have a whole army of dudes. And if we play back, again, still a solid 60 frames a second. Okay, and our project triangle has been reduced by a significant amount. And uh, that's really the process that we want to go through. We want to fo uh, so, uh, follow this process here to really just um, get a smooth frame rate, uh, save resources on our project, and, uh, you know, have a uh, kind of a faster production time for everyone involved. All right, so that's really all I want to show you in this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you check out our forums, as always, over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.